have come up with some clever ideas for animated series, but before we show them, we would like to remind you lovers of cartoons of the fine programming Creark currently has on TV. Amish President, Betty and the Kid, Bathing Grandpa, Spatula and Andy, Nazi Babysitter, Jeff the Abusive Stepdad, Daddy Likes Sailors, and Gym Teacher Betty. Here is our first series idea, Space City. Orbiting in space just miles from Earth is the space station USS Utopiotic, commanded by Captain Matt J. Taylor. Matt, although a brave and trusted captain, suffers from extreme delusions of grandeur as he dreams of traveling the galaxy, fighting off alien bad guys and creatures, taking on dangerous missions as his Star Trek-like starship explores space from one adventure to another. Sadly, the USS Utopiotic is permanently orbiting just outside Earth, and the captain's duties are actually quite dull and uneventful. Navigation officer! It's Bob. I need a reading on our coordinates. Let's go over this again. We are orbiting on the same path in the same place. Oh, God. Just shoot me. But I got to my head. <laughs> Lieutenant Cooper! I'm right here, sir. You don't need to yell. I think we have trouble. On screen now! <gasps> it's my old nemesis, Daco Zika! Hmm, what Astro Rock did he climb out from under? Wait, from up, out from under where you climbed? I. <laughs> From what rock do we need to... Mm, that guy looks very familiar. Captain Taylor, surrender to me this instant, or I will blow up your entire space station. Uh, just a minute, Zika. Marissa, take Peace Wordo down to the engine room. You know, I'm really not back from lunch yet. We need the shields up. <laughs> shields up? Yeah, right after I go warp speed. I thought they told you not to wear that costume. No time for that! All officers on deck! Everyone is here and nobody else has a Star Trek uniform on. Star Trek! You are running out of time! <laughs> Uh, Captain, <coughs> uh, excuse me. Wait a minute. Is that Vinny from the third level pizzeria? I will destroy Hey, resting rooms are for customers only. Signing off. By the way, I'll, I'll take a mushroom slice to go. People, this was just a drill this time, but keep alert. Be diligent. Be proud! Think outside the space station. I don't mean go outside the space station. Think as if you were outside, but again, nobody go outside the station. Hey, Cap! What about if I'm wearing a suit? Not to be the cash, but spacesuit or a suit? You wear to a bathroom? Captain, the shuttle from New Jersey is having problems docking. No freaking break his legs, you freaking moron! Hey! Hands off of those eyes! What do you think I took for you? Forget about it! I freaking put a bullet through your eyes and shit! What do I look like? A freaking idiot? Of course they got a race track on this freaking thing! Animated series idea number two. Did you ever wonder where those gorgeous, young, big-breasted TV weather girls come from? Our next show takes place at the Stormy Vale Meteorologist School for Television Broadcasting. Check them out. Boobs! Actually, men, women, anyone with a love of weather or a desire to be on TV can attend this school 
which is instructed by our professor, Gus Fractison. Among the future TV weather girls or guys is the smart, articulate weather geek, Emily Powers. Emily, who can answer any weather-related question and has had an interest in meteorology since the age of four, rarely gets called on or noticed because of her small bra size. Welcome, welcome everyone to the new school year. Looking out of the class, I can tell we have some future TV personalities. Girl, I see you are back for another try. It's breezy. Breezy Belagano now. Like with the weather and all? Actually, girl is a weather term. No shit. Already got the tattoo. Dad, I see you are back as well. Are we going to have a problem again with the weatherman not actually being right behind you? Freaks me out, man. It's just a green screen. Freaky shit, man. Freaky. It's so freaky. It's just really freaky. We will go over all that again. Can anyone tell me what meteorology it is? Anyone? Oh, uh, wait. No one told us we were going to be asked questions. Think of this as a real school. Now, anyone? Please, meteorology. Professor, that dude's got his hand up. How am I a dude? I have a dress on. Please, meteorology. Oh, like meteors? How about rain? Can anyone tell me where the rain comes from? Jesus! Sprinklers? They get it from when it rains? <sighs> I'm sorry, and I don't usually say this, but you are just effing stupid. Yes, the boy girl waving her hand all day. It's Emily. Rain is liquid water in the form of droplets that have condensed from atmospheric water vapor and then precipitated. That is, become heavy enough to fall under gravity. You should at least have man boobs. I am a woman! I have woman parts! Wow, first time I ever announced that in public. What do you say? We watch some footage of the local TV weather girl, Chesty Knockers. <laughs> Let's go to Mexico City. <laughs> Which is, I think, in Korea? <laughs> this isn't the weather inside, is it? This would be our third series idea. The Adventures of the Old Man of the Office. Our show is set in the fast-paced, high-tech, financial capital of the world, Wall Street. In the offices of Morgan, Goldman, and Rectum, sits our show's star, the long-forgotten and never important to begin with, Pops McMuffinfly. Pops sits quietly in his cubicle, equipped with a rotary phone, wooden abacus, a turntable that only plays 45s, and a 1984 Macintosh computer that doesn't work and isn't plugged in anyway. Come meet his co-workers, who are all young enough to be his great-grandchildren. Hey, Pops, ha, what did you guys do before copiers? <coughs> we, we used to stare at the documents until we memorized them. Take a look out there. No, York City. It doesn't get any crazier. Competition will cut your throat just for meeting a client. You ready to take care of some business? I can't remember when this was all farmland. Pops, wake up! I need that RISPRO CDN data file posted pronto and raw it, codex file, stat. There's a telegraph from Detroit. What? Pops. Check out this new app on my cell. Cell? <laughs> you know, my phone. Phone? <laughs> Where's the cord? Pops, go! I meant Microsoft Windows. Pops, Skype meeting in five. I'll have the pastrami with the 
A little coleslaw. Ops, Danny's Native American. You can't call him Redskin. Jimmy's Asian. He's not a jab or chink or nip. Uh, and Dr. Johnson isn't a jungle bunny. And Janice is a VP. She's not going to run along and get you some coffee. Hey, Pops, I bet you were pretty high tech in your day. You know, when you were just starting out. Hey, Pips, I told you, you don't have to shout out the window anymore. They invented the telephone years ago. Let's go on to animated series idea number four. Crack Ho Girlfriend. Ted is a pudgy tech geek who works for a major financial company based in his hometown of Bloomfield, New Jersey. Too naive and innocent to understand that the sweet girl woman of indeterminate age whom he falls in love with is actually a drug addicted, STD infected prostitute who when is awake, her only interest in him is stealing money from his wallet. Ted and Susie forever? Or at least until she overdoses herself to death or her pimp disposes of her. Honey dumplings, wake up! Hey! Valentine's Day is coming. <laughs> what do you want to do? Buy crack! Susie Poot, that Seinfeld episode is coming on! You know my favorite one with the soup Nazi? You want to get up and watch it with me? I've been kind of sleeping for days. Something. You want my vitamin C and some green tea? I just want the crack. Sugars, you're coughing up blood. Did you bite your tongue again? Now, what's a good night for you to meet my parents? Yeah, folks, got the crack. Honey, honey, Susie girl. So it's movie night. Ready to see the new Sandra Bullock flick? Hey, pal. Give me a second here. She's all yours when I'm done. We're supposed to go see the movies tonight. Is this a friend from work? Let's just go on to number five and never speak of number four again. Jesus Christ comes back to Earth after all these years? Not really. He appears in a small diner located on Highway 63 outside of Pimo, Navajo, Arizona as a grilled cheese sandwich. Grilled cheese Jesus! Helping 21st century mankind is tough when you are a high cholesterol lunch sandwich, but he does have his 12 disciples to help out. Bartholomeo, Doobie Dog, Old Care with No Label, Judas Bagel, Rinsey Cracker, Ketchup Comic, Patty Sticko Butter, Pinty Milk, Mystery Meat Guy, Simon PB&J, and the Vitamin Twins, Matt and John. <laughs> Grilled cheese, Jesus, help me out. I cheated on my husband and now I'm pregnant. Yeah, here's the thing. I'm really just a sandwich. Moving along to idea number six. Gay spouse century. Why not? Brookdale Grove, New York, 2014. Dustin Packer runs the town clerk marriage license and justice of the peace office. The fun begins when couples of many persuasions show up seeking marriage licenses. For once, the religious right might have been right because here is audio of what happened 15 minutes after gay marriage became legal in New Jersey. <laughs> 